What's going on guys, Gabe here with the Dork. First time visiting this channel, smash the subscribe button, hit the like button, turn on notifications, join in on the conversation below. And uh, today I got something exciting for you, an all new Android feature. So today was not a video day. In fact, Apple Jacks is not even in the studio assisting me, but I saw a notification pop up in my feed and I said, holy moly, this is an absolutely cool, uh, maybe even game changer feature that has been rolled out by Google. Now, before we jump into that feature, let's go ahead and play with our Google Assistant voices. So how do we change our Google Assistant voice? Well, first we got to summons Google. So, hey, Google. And once you see this pop up, you want to go ahead and hit the icon on the lower right. Hit your profile on the top right, settings, and assistant. Here we have the opportunity with assistant voice to change the assistant. Hi, John Legend here. Here are the voices you can pick. Pick for your Google Assistant. If you like this voice. So I'm going to stick with Amber. And uh, now what we're going to do is show you this amazing new feature so what we're going to do is open up a website and all we're going to do is ask google to read it to us hey google read this got it from espn.com playing out tom brady's 2020 nfl free agency four offers one winner and 60 million dollars guaranteed Tom Brady has three regular season MVPs, three first team all pro appearances. Now you can do different things such as change the speed and 3.0 would be not intelligible. You will not be able to hear it. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, play it at three times speed. So the cool thing about this feature is it gives you a timer. Uh, basically showing at or about how long it would take for Google to read the article. You can go ahead and just throw on some Bluetooth headphones and uh, maybe do a workout or uh, essentially treat it like, I don't know, like some podcast. And we spent a lot of time reading, but this is pretty cool, especially if you need to follow instructions or a tutorial. Um, so that's a really cool feature. Now to disable this, um, it's not as simple as just closing out the app. You want to pull from the top and then swipe. Make sure that the Google dictation is paused and that's pretty much it. So anyways, that's it for me, guys. This was a short video. I hope you guys learned something. If you would like some tips, tricks, hints, especially on the all new Galaxy S20, let me know in the comments below. This is Gabe signing out. Peace. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm outie.